This is Matthew with Advantage Technical Services with another quick tip. In Adobe Illustrator, we're going to look at how to create a photo trace to create a vector object around a photographic image. We've got a JPEG object right here that we've already placed into, into our layer, and all I'm going to do first is to duplicate that layer. You can cl simply click and drag it over top of your Add New Layer and it'll make a second copy. This is where we're going to do all our work, so we're going to go ahead and hide the first layer. Here I'm going to just rename this trace. Now what we're going to use is our live trace feature. It's in our object live trace and we're going to go into our tracing options for a minute. Depending on the resolution you could get a message saying that it proceeds slowly. Typically what I do is I do a color trace just to get as much information as I can and for this since it's mostly grayscale I'm just going to use a few colors. We're going to go ahead and let it trace. And now you can see that we've got a traced outline. Now it doesn't look perfect, but we're going to fix that later on. We're going to go to our expand tool, and that will give us our vector traced objects. Now what we've got is we've got a white border right here that we need to get rid of. So the first thing we're going to do is ungroup everything. Grab just that outline shape and delete it out. And if we select everything, we can see that we've got all of our objects there. Now, just like before with our vector trace, we're just going to use our Pathfinder tool and add all of that to one shape area. And you'll notice that we now have one object with a bunch of objects inside of it. We can ungroup all of that. Grab it again, use a compound path. And now we've got just our outside shape, so we can select the inverse to get all the small pieces out and delete those out. Now we've got a little bit of issue up here where it's got an open space right there. We're going to fix this in an easy way. You could come in and use your object um, point to point selection tools and clean that up. But we're just going to do it the simple way by expanding this out just using our object path, offset path. We're going to do this about five thousandths of an inch, five hundredths of an inch, excuse me. So we'll make a small shape, select everything again, run our pathfinder, and now we've got one nice outline shape that encompasses our entire graphic. Now if we turn that layer back on and move our trace to the background, or excuse me, turn our trace from a fill to a stroke, we can see it's just a hair on the outside of our object. Now some of our some minor defects like this jagged edge here or this point here we can clean up using our point selection tools. Just simply just bring that back up. And now that we've got our outline shape, we can either just print and cut from that or use this as a die line. We can also simplify this path by cleaning up some of the excess points in here and making a more clean cut that would take less time to cut. This is Matthew Ledbetter with Advantage Technical Services. Hope that's been helpful.